Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Momo Makeup here. Today I'm going to be doing my very first anti-haul video, which is perfect for me because I love to talk so I can't wait to tell you guys about what I am not going to buy. If you guys are interested to see what I am not going to spend my hard-earned money on, then keep on watching. Let's get into it. Let's get into it! Let's get into it! Let's get into it. product that I am not going to buy is the Tarte Mermist Shimmer Spray from the Rainforest of the Sea collection. It is described on their website as a magical vegan mermaid spray loaded with shimmer and a delicate fragrance to spritz on whenever and wherever you want. Cost $22 on the Sephora website and you get 2.53 ounces. Does anybody remember growing up? I'm a 90s baby and does anybody remember going to Bath and Body Works and getting like the glitter, the roll-on glitter, the spray glitter, all of that good glittery magical stuff from Bath and Body Works. That is exactly what this spray reminds me of. Like the glitter is probably a more finely milled glitter, but to me, it's like, when are we gonna just move on from the mermaid scene? I'm, I'm just, oh, I just feel like I'm done. I'm done with the mermaids. I'm not judging you if you like mermaids, but to me, I don't, yeah, they're cool, whatever, but I don't want mermaid setting spray. You know what I mean? I just, I don't know. I'm lost on this one, guys. And um, it's not something that I'm interested in buying. I just think it's it's gimmicky. It's annoying. It's, I'm done. The next product on my list is the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. It retails for $44 on Sephora.com. Comes with two bronzers, two highlighters, and two blushes. The reason why I will not be purchasing this is because to me, a face palette is a waste of money. If you look at this palette, there's one cool tone blush, one warm tone blush, one cool tone highlighter, one warm tone highlighter, and the same thing for the bronzers. Now, I'm cool tone. I'm never going to want to wear the warm tone items. So essentially, you're wasting half the palette. You're only gonna use the cool tone products if you have a cool tone undertone. Same thing with the warm undertone. I just, the whole palette idea, I just think for me, it would be a definite waste of money. I would only use half the palette, so why waste my money? I'd rather invest money on products that I know are gonna work for me and that I know I'm gonna use. The rest of the palette would just go to waste. The next product, that I'm not going to buy because frankly I can't afford it is the Tom Ford Soleil brush kit. The Tom Ford Soleil brush kit costs $850. You wanna know how many brushes you get in the Tom Ford Soleil brush kit that costs $850? Poor. <laughs> No, ladies and gentlemen, this is not a joke. You get a cheek brush, an eyeshadow brush, eyeshadow contour brush, and an angled brow brush for $850. And it comes in a case. I almost passed out when I read this online. You guys thought Kylie's brush collection was expensive? Okay, you all came for her. You all came at her very hard for her $300 brush set, okay? And it was a full brush set. Might have been missing a few things here and there, but it was a full brush set, let's be real. Tom Ford is trying to sell you four makeup brushes and, and only one of them is a face brush. One of them is a fucking brow brush in a bag for $850. Do I really even need to say like why I would never buy that? Even if you have the money, like even if you, I, I just, would you collect like high end Jesus, take the wheel. Jesus, help me. <sighs> Ooh, okay guys, I'm back. I was feeling a little woozy after that one, but I'm back. Next product I will not be purchasing is the new Violet Voss Like a Boss eyeshadow palette. It costs $45 on the Sephora website. 
it comes with 20 different shades. It just doesn't, it just doesn't tickle my fancy at all. The shades bore me. Um, if you already own the Jaclyn Hill palette, you have pretty much all of these shades within that palette. It just, oh God, it's just too many neutrals, too many warm tone colors, not my thing. And I don't know, Violet Voss, I have never tried any of their products. They, they never really like, um, pull me in. They never want, make me want to buy them. I just, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I just don't, they're just not my cup of tea. So I will not be purchasing that palette. I'm really not trying to come for Tarte in this video, but there's another product from them that I, I'm just not going to buy. Mermaid Skin H2O Hyaluronic Serum. $42 and you get 1.7 fluid ounces. And the reason why I won't be purchasing this is because, no offense to Tarte, but I do not take them seriously as a skincare brand. I just don't. Like, they make good makeup. They had the whole debacle with the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation, which I hate to say this, but I really like the hydrating version of that foundation. But to me, I would not want to invest in a serum from Tarte. I just don't take them seriously as a skincare brand. I don't know what else to say. Like, there's so many better options out there. Um, cheaper options that are comparable and more established skincare brands that you're going to get a better product from. Until Tarte consistently drops skincare that I know is effective and I know is worth my money, I will not be trying any of their serums, creams, just masks. I'm not going to be trying them. The last product that I have on my list is the Urban Decay Full Team Special Effect Colored Mascara. Each retail for $24 and you get two shades within each mascara. These are brightly colored mascaras. There is a blue variety, which comes with two different shades of blue, silver and gold. Another one with two different shades of blue, a looks like a fuchsia colored one and a purple colored one. Oh God, colored mascara. Guys, think about it. When you do a makeup look and you apply mascara, nine times out of 10, you are going to be applying false lashes over top of the mascara. And I, oh, color mascara is just, to me, no offense to anybody who uses it, but it's cheap looking. Like the only time I would wear color mascara is maybe for Halloween. But even then, I just think if I'm doing a full look, I'm gonna be putting lashes over it and you're not even gonna see it. I just, ugh. Well, how would you want to buy that? Like, how old are you? I just, ugh. Not for me, guys, not for me. And $24 is not a bad price considering you get two, two mascaras with it, but I don't do the color mascara thing. It's just not cute. Nobody looks cute with color mascara. So, don't buy that. Don't do it. Yeah, it feels good to have gotten that out of my system. My very first anti-haul video. I hope I didn't offend anybody. I did not mean to offend or hurt anyone's feelings. I don't judge you. I just have opinions on makeup that I would not wear for whatever reason. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna put that link right over here. And go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys on the next video. Ooh, ooh. Bye, guys.